All right, hey guys, uh, this is Rochi here with Expat Audio. Um, I'm in my house here, and uh, I'm just trying to do some, uh, so I'm doing selfie mode here, so forgive me if, if it wobbles a little bit. This is a little RetroPie Raspberry Pi gaming platform I put together. Uh, I made it for my son last year so we could take it on holiday, and it was just something that could entertain him from time to time. But there's one major flaw in this. Well, there's actually a few, but the one that comes to mind that I want to address is the audio outputs on it. So I put two little speakers in here, and I hooked them directly to the 3.5mm uh, jack that's on the Raspberry Pi, and there's two major problems. One, no volume control. Two, um, it was very, very, very noisy. So in today's episode, I'm gonna see what I can do to address this to make it sound a little better, and so that when he does take it on an airplane with him, he doesn't deafen everybody around him with the sound of 8-bit noise. Start on the left here. My block diagrams typically go from the left to the right. So over here, I'm going to add my Raspberry Pi. Now I could use a regular I2 I2C DAC, um, very similar to the PCM5102 that we talked about recently. I don't need something that's that that high performance. And quite frankly, USB audio just works in Linux and so on, rather than needing drivers and all the rest of it. So uh, we'll we'll talk about which USB DAC I'll use in just a moment. Um, but for now, let's assume that uh, I'm going to use a USB DAC. From there, I'm going to add a volume control. So we've got the Raspberry Pi, the USB DAC, the volume control, and then the signal is going to go two ways. One is going to go into a headphone amp, and that'll go into a 3.5mm jack. And then the other, we need to have a parallel path here that goes into a speaker amp. And you know, the amount of power we're talking about here is minuscule, like one, two, three watts of power. Um, nothing really to, to write home about. I mean, this is a small portable product. The last thing I want to do is deafen people. Convert to analog cleanly, nicely. Um, do a little bit of volume control in it so I can take the maximum signal out and get the best signal to noise ratio, and then drive that into my headphone amp and my speaker amp. Now, uh, let's talk a little bit about other requirements, sort of product or system requirements. The first one that comes to mind is that I want a, a rotary thumb control, volume control. So I want something almost like the old Game Boy wheel on the side that you just turn up and down. It's something that's um, very fast to do. If you need to turn it down quickly, you know, you unplug the headphones and suddenly speakers are blaring, you can very quickly reach and turn this down. Speakers mute when headphone used. So in other words, we need some kind of, you know, a connection from here that comes to here that tells the speaker amplifier to shut, shut up when, when, you know, somebody inserts headphones. Uh, I'd like for this to be able to run off either a 3.7 volt supply or, um, you know, a 5 volt USB. So the USB DAC, of course, will have to run from the Raspberry Pi, but I'm worried about things like this speaker amplifier. You know, I, this is a portable product, or was initially designed for a portable product, so ideally I really want to be able to avoid having to run this essentially buck converter from a boosted uh, supply over here. That would be a real waste. Um, it needs to have a single volume control for all, um, rather than having two separate knobs, that would be a pain. And then um, the amplifiers need to power on detect. And we can either use 5 volt USB for that or a GPIO from the Pi. The DAC's a pretty easy one for me. Um, I can use a PCM2704 there. Uh, that's a sim very simple um, Burr Brown stereo USB DAC. You plug it in, it just works. Great little parts, uh, 9060 dB dynamic range, uh, more than good enough for using you know that little portable as a retro pie or even for watching movies and so on. Um, the volume control, I'd like to use the little thumb pot. Now I've got some in stock that are stereo ones. However, here's the, here's the magic bit. Um, I think I have found a device that integrates the speaker amp, the headphone amp, and a volume control. So there's a device called a PAM8007 which integrates these two and even has a pin 
that can switch off the speaker amp as well, providing I can get a logic level signal. So that brings me to the jack. Now there are jacks out there that have a dedicated pin for detecting when something has been plugged in. I don't have any in stock right now, um, you know, in, in, in the garage, but I do have a PJ327F. It's designed for the, um, uh, you know, typical sort of left, right, um, mic ground kind of connector. And obviously, you know, you've got your uh, connections like this. Um, and then for ground, you actually have two here, which is kind of like the old um, quarter inch, you know, guitar jacks or whatever. And one of the tricks we used to do to power those on was use these two and, you know, have ground over here and then have this uh, through a pull up to VCC and then have that, you know, drive this signal here. So essentially when nothing is connected, this gets pulled up to VCC, but as soon as I insert the jack here, um, the ground that's on one side actually carries across the barrel over to the other side and switches our, um, our, our, our speaker amplifier uh, off. The next step will be to, uh, to actually make this into a, uh, onto a PCB and order some PCBs from JLC PCB and get it done. Love it. All right, guys.